What's up guys, Hong Lian here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about judo versus BJJ. Which one comes first if you actually had a choice, right? Um, I remember reading in one of the comments uh, of one of the, the, the subscribers, I forgot who, but uh, there was an argument, not an argument, but a discussion going on where you know some people said BJ, like uh, BJJ, not good for the street, and all that and then that judo would be better and then another person would say the opposite right that uh you know bjj is better for self-defense and here's the thing i agree with both of them right i think that bjj is really a secret weapon if you have it and the other person doesn't you have a really big advantage now of course in a self-defense situation there's a lot of variables so i mean First of all, I, I, I really don't recommend getting into too many fights in your life, right? At least not on the street because so many things can happen, right? Uh, you know, like um, you can hurt the person really bad, end up in jail, you know, or vice versa, or you can get hurt really bad, you know? And, you know, there's there's just too many things that can go wrong. I'm not saying, I mean, there's, I'm sure a lot of you have fought, have gotten into altercations where it wasn't such a big deal, but I mean, it could go south pretty goddamn fast, you know? So... Here's the thing uh, when it comes to, so, that, so that's first off, right? I don't, uh, I don't condone fighting in the streets. Like if it's really for self-defense, that's one thing. And I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but if you live in an area where you're like, you really have to defend yourself uh, on, a, on a daily basis, like consistently, you always have to be wary of your surroundings and stuff like that. Then my suggestion is to definitely take care of yourself, learn how to, you know, self-defense and all that. But at the same time, I think really you gotta you gotta get the hell out of there, right? Don't just stay in a place where um, you know you're always in danger, so to speak. Okay, because it's your life, so why you know why stay there and, and have to live with that? You could always like uh, move somewhere else, right? Um, okay, so that being said, now which one would actually be better to learn? Now I feel that judo would actually be your first pick if you had a choice. Okay, not everybody has a choice because Sometimes what happens is that uh, you live in an area where uh, there is no uh, judo club or there's no BJJ club or whatnot. But if you had a choice, let's say you had a judo club and a BJJ club, uh, ideally, uh, and, and, and who knows, maybe you guys um, have a club that do both, right? That offer judo classes specifically and in BJJ, that would be the best scenario, okay? So if you were to learn these two arts, right? I feel as though judo would be the first one and the reason is because there's a couple of reasons but the first one is that well every 90 percent of the fights end up on the ground right according to statistics i don't know if they're legit or not but you know that's what they always say right it always ends up on the ground but a hundred percent of the fights always start standing up okay so when you start standing up well you know even to use your bjj you have to be able to bring the guy to the ground and the problem with why I say you should like start with judo if you had the choice is that because in, in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, a lot of the schools now, they're very sports oriented, right? So that means that they, they butt, like they just pull guard right away and, or they just sit down right away and, and they, they work from there. So those are like really already bad habits to, uh, to develop. Right. And they're more so, so then, and it's more competition focused and all that. So, which is fine, which is, you know, even even though it's like that, I mean, it's still, it's a very effective martial art for self-defense, right? Um, so that's the thing with the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is that you, you develop kind of bad habits that way, you know, like just you start off and, and you're like hunched over like this and then you sit, you pull guard and you sit down, like you don't actually want to do that in a, in a altercation, right? Like if it hits the floor, fine, but uh, for it to hit the floor, uh, the way you want it to to uh, uh, to happen, right? Because you want to dictate where the fight goes. So if you're the one, if you have takedown ability, whether it's in wrestling or uh, or judo or what else is there? Yeah, pretty much those two. Okay, there's other arts too, but let's just for for this uh, for this discussion, we'll just stick with those two. So judo definitely because you can throw the guy on the ground. And the thing is. Um, if you're in a if, in, if you're in a judo club that's um, how do you say it where where the coach 
that the sensei is actually open to who does a lot of groundwork, then you're you're good because okay, even though in judo you don't spend a lot of time on the ground after you hit the ground, right? Like let's say you hit the ground, but it's not uh, ipon yet, right? It's not over. Then you still have a couple of seconds. So that's why judo guys are super explosive. Like if they can't finish it right right after they throw the guy, right? Then essentially they just wait and get back up because the waiting time is like three seconds, five seconds, right? So that's a good habit to have to get back up, right? And to uh, to throw the guy, and then if you can't finish it right away, they will they get back up. So already you're, you're developing like uh, good habits. And in judo, like when you hit the ground, man, you never you don't want to pull guard on a judo guy, man, because the thing is, let's say you're 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 fighting it out, and then the guy throws you, you fall, right? Let's say on your knees or to the side, so it's not over yet. If you go on your back, oh my god, it's it's the worst thing you could do because. These guys are so strong, and then boom, they pass the guard, they hold you down, and then after that, you can get, uh, you can lose the fight if you get pinned for like 20 seconds, right? So that's the thing too. Now, so you develop these good habits of throwing the guy, like being strong, being explosive, taking the guy down, having this takedown ability, and after that, if you're at a good club, a club where, and, and a good club, in my opinion, is one that also does groundwork too, that does newasa, right? Not just super focused on um, on the uh, on the standing aspect of it, on the tachi waza. So of course, most good clubs, uh, the ones that are competitive and all, I mean, they're, they're gonna teach you ground game for sure anyway. So it's slightly different because you don't spend that much time on the ground, but I think a good ratio is something to the effects of, um, I would say maybe, I don't know, 70, 30, 60, 40. Uh, on the you know standing up you know 60 to 70 percent standing up and then the rest of it uh some of it on like you know 30 to 40 percent on the ground too right so you already have that really solid base okay um and taking down somebody is important because once you once you're able to take them down that's when i i find that if you have if you train in brazilian jiu-jitsu it uh it shows you um different approaches it's more sophisticated. There's a lot more techniques, a lot more nuances, you know. But of course, uh, some of the stuff though are very sports oriented. So, and so they wouldn't really work well in a in a, in a street um, in, a, in a street altercation, self defense kind of scenario. Okay, so then you'd ha- and you'd have to kind of purge it out, right? Because you can't just practice Bra- sports Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and think that like you have to use your common sense. You can't you can't think that everything you do is going to be applicable on the street, right? And also on the street, you don't want to spend too much time on the ground. But if you're in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you understand at least when you're off your back, you know how to you know how to protect yourself, right? And you know how to get the hell up as fast as possible or to remain on top. Like because you want to play top game if you if you hit the ground. You don't want to be the one on your back because well there's concrete, you know there's other people coming. So but at least if you end up on your back, you know how to get up, you know how to reverse position. Right, you know how to scramble out of it, and then from there you you take top position and you you know you continue to fight. And of course, as soon as you can, you got to get the hell up. You know, you can't um, depending on the situation where you're fighting and stuff like that. Then you know you don't want to be hanging around on the ground too much because you could be, get blindsided. So that's why I think that judo. If you had the choice between the two, you would do judo first. So you have you develop these really good habits, right? So you understand kumikara, you understand the grips, you understand the. Um, uh, how to throw someone down, how to how to off balance them and all. And once you get them to the ground, yeah, you could actually stay on top if you have a very strong top game, right? And you go for the submission. Because what I like about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and now it's going to depend how you train too and how, how you've been taught, but you should always be going for the finish. Always, always, always. Now, if it's sport, it's different, right? But even then, you look at the high level guys like uh, in, in BJJ, they're always like, they're super explosive. They're super, they're always attacking, attacking, attacking nonstop. They're always on top. Even after if they're at the bottom, they're they're fighting it out. They're going for for submissions. They're going for reversals. They're doing all kinds of you know. So you have to be aggressive. And sometimes that aggressivity I find is lacking in in, in certain in, in BJJ in general. But the top guys, they're all super aggressive, all super explosive, and they're all um, trying to get that top uh, position right. So judo. So you actually will take the guy down properly, right? And let's face it, you're not going to be fighting on the beach. A lot of the street altercations and stuff like that, 
like they happen on the street. On the street, people are wearing clothes. So if they're wearing clothes, you have an advantage right there if you have judo, okay? Because, you know, you could grab this, you could grab that. And of course, BJJ too, because, you know, you're in a gi. So you want to have those uh, those skills where you can actually grab the guy, throw him down. Like if you get, you know, if you close the distance, of course, because you got to remember, like if we're talking self-defense, remember, people can punch you <laughs> and kick you, right? So you have to have a functional understanding of uh, striking and then, when you're able to close the distance, because a lot of times like in a street fight, ah, they start throwing, 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 they come closer, and then it always up and it ends up in a clinch, you know, type of position. Now, if you have if you have strong judo background, man, you'll flip that guy on his head right there. And then once it hits the ground, okay, it ain't over. And look, I mean, if the guy's knocked out, it's over, right? <laughs> but if he's not knocked out, boom, that's when BJJ time comes in, you know. But BJJ top game, more adapted for uh, for for self defense, not sports BJJ. Uh, not to say that that's taking any away anything away from the sport, but you have to understand that there's a uh, there's a difference, right? Like even in judo, like you throw the guy down, if he's not knocked out or he doesn't break something like right off the bat, or even if he does, but he could still kind of function, but you still have to finish it. So if you have that strong uh, link between takedown and in submission, or takedown, you know, get the get the right position and then submit. You're good or take down and you know ground and pound them out or whatever uh but that's that's the way i see it so i think that if you have the choice judo first so you you know you and then after that bjj and then when you if you train bjj or um if you train bjj then just be 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 careful about be, be able to differentiate between sport and street kind of thing right so I hope that made sense, guys. Uh, let me know what you think underneath in the comments, right? Uh, what do you think? Uh, what's your experience with that? What do you think? You what would uh, you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? You know, I'm always open to discussion and all that. It's super interesting when we talk about this kind of stuff. That's why uh, I, I might have talked about it in other videos, but you know, there's always so many angles, you know. So like, uh, and sometimes I don't think about it like right off the bat. But if you guys comment and stuff like that, and you guys go on and, and we we talk about it. And we um, we debate it, then yeah, then it then, then it you know like uh, then things pop into my head, and then I make another video because it's such a interesting and uh, vast subject in terms of like the angles that you you approach it and this and that. People have different experiences, so yeah, that's it, man. So let me know what you think. Like the video, subscribe, um, share, of course, it helps me grow the channel, and of course you can click on a notification bell. Uh, it's gonna tell you uh, when I make a video. And now because we're in quarantine, so I hope. Hope everyone's uh, safe at home, um, you know, washing your hands, practicing a little bit of social distancing and stuff like that. You know, it's, um, it'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll make it out of this. We just have to, you know, stay at home and, and you know, YouTube and chill. <laughs> okay. So, oh, and on a, the good news is that I upgraded my, I'm back on YouTube now. I'm being more consistent uh, with this because I really want to get this off the ground. And uh, with everybody's help and support here, okay, I think uh, you know, I think it's going to be good. And also, the good news is th that wasn't the good news. The good news is that my internet connection, I, I, I increased it, right? So it was really slow. My upload speed was terrible, man. So I could, like, even though I would make a video a day, right, I couldn't even upload it right away because it took like a whole day just to upload it. So I upgraded the speed. So I'll expect more videos from me. Um, you know, like a couple of videos easily every week. And if you guys have any ideas, you guys want me to talk about anything, then yeah, let me down below. And when I read the comments, I'll put it, I'll put it aside, right? I'll make a list of stuff that, you know, like uh, that you guys want to talk about. And uh, I'll give you guys my opinion on it. And um, that's it for now. So thank you very much, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Be safe.